What's up guys, because I can gaming and welcome back. Today we have the fastest and easiest car duplication glitch that is working right now. Need a couple things. I have my friend in here with me. I'm in an invite only session and you need your arena. Now you see I'm on my B2 and in my arena I have the mod shop. So you know what? Let's get going on this. What you want to do is you're going to want to go to Benny's. So what you want to do is you want to pull up your phone, you want to go travel and transportation, you're going to go to Benny's, and we are going to get us a new car. So let's go to stock, and we are going to get us the minivan. Boom, minivan. And as you come down here, you're going to spend the $30,000, and we are going to buy this bad boy. Buy the stock. Ooh, 30 grand we're gonna put it in Maya workshop arena 2 I have one spot for it and we are gonna wait for this to come back when we're waiting guys we will be back stay tuned okay now that we're back we do have the notification that our van is right here so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over here my friend is gonna come over as well he's gonna get into the passenger side as I wait for him into your minivan he is going to join someone in a different targeting mode doesn't need to be a friend it just needs to be someone in a different targeting mode and he's going to accept the first alert sit on the second alert so you got to wait for your friend to tell you that he is in the second alert Okay, so my friend is now in the second alert, so he told me. So what you're going to do is you're going to upgrade your Benny's original motor vehicle. It's going to cost you a little bit of cash, but don't worry. You're going to dupe a lot of cars. So you're going to wait for that to go up. Once that disappears, you're going to hit start. You're going to go to online, and you are going to go down to purchase shark cards. You're going to open it up. You're just going to back out, back out, back out, back out, and you're going to exit the workshop soon as you exit the workshop now you see this is something that could happen I am stuck inside my car that is that can happen so all I'm going to do is my friends going to back out because now that I'm glitched out now anyways so he can get out as you see I'm the one that's glitched so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit start I'm going to go to online I'm going to go to jobs I'm going to play jobs I'm going to go to rockstar created and I'm going to go down to missions and I'm going to do Titan of a job. Now, in my friend's screen, I'm out of the vehicle. In my screen, I'm still stuck here. So I did that a second time as you've seen because the first time it didn't work, the second time did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to send me up to the sky. As soon as it does, I'm just going to back out, which is going to put me back into my arena outside of the vehicle. And this is what I want. Boom. I am now glitched out as well and I can move around. Okay, so once I'm glitched out, guys, it's now the easy part that we did before. Your friend can leave your garage if he likes to or he can just sit in here it isn't that big of a deal make sure that you are glitched out first so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my RHH and I'm gonna swap it and you see it doesn't swap which means we are now in a glitch glitch garage I'm gonna fly over here I'm gonna get into my car I'm gonna hit right on the d-pad I want to accept no on that I don't know why I did that and then what I'm going to do is I am going to go to plates and I want to switch my plate and I want to switch my color. Exit the workshop. I'm going to run back over. And all we're going to do is keep rinsing and repeating. We're going to go over here. I'm going to hit right on the D-pad. Once it prompts me to. And now you see I have two of them. So what you want to do is go to your next RHH. You want to go to your original one, which is right here. You're going to swap it. It's not going to change. You're going to run up over to here. 
And we're going to rinse and repeat this to go through our whole entire garage, guys. And then I'm going to show you guys on how to save it. So there's a couple of things that have changed. A little quicker steps now. And the good news is you're not seeing the car spot on top of you. Don't worry. It is still working if you don't, as you see from me. Now I have three plates that I'm going to circle through. You want to make sure that you do not uh, use the same plate twice or you'll have a dirty dupe. You want to know the difference between a clean dupe and a dirty dupe, guys. Make sure you watch the video. I'll link it in the description on how many cars you can sell a day, the sell rules, stuff like that so you don't get dupe detected. Let's face it, you do not want to be dupe detected. That is the biggest thing here. So these are going to be clean dupes because we are changing to custom plates as we do it, which means we won't get dupe detected as long as you stay within how many you can sell a day. So keep that in mind, guys. I will be back once this has all been duped. Stay tuned. So here we go, guys. We're on our last one. I will show you that all the rest have been changed over, and then I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I'm going to show you how to save it as well. So we're going to move the last one here to the original one, like you see. For some reason, I didn't start off with a full uh, full garage, which isn't that big of a deal. But if you're going to be doing it, let's, you know, dupe as many as possible all at once. Makes life way, way easier. So again, you're going to modify vehicle. You're going to jump down to custom plates. And then we're going to change the color. And we go plate. And then we're going to go blue. And we are going to go at a time. And I'm going to exit the workshop. Now, I'll show you real quickly before we continue to save all these you'll see that every single one of them that are in here are now showing there we go all except the minivan i want to keep the minivan so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to spawn location which is my last location and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit start i'm going to go to online i'm going to go to crater and i'm going to start up crater this is probably the quickest way to save this as well guys so I'm going to load up Creator. As soon as I load up Creator, I'm going to go back into an invite-only session if I want to continue duping to make this that much easier. So I'm going to go to Start. I'm going to go to Online. Play GTA Online. And I'm going to go to Invite-only session. And now all I need to do is invite my friend back to my session. And then I'm going to literally just move my cars out of this garage and I can continue doing the, the dupe. I'll show you that all the cars have been changed. All the cars have been saved. And if you're doing the mini, it is worth like 1.5 to 1.9, depending on the mods. Make sure you stick to the Retro Allergy Custom or the something from the arena that sells for a lot of money. If you're doing rare cars or not even rare cars, but if you're doing uh, your sports cars and stuff, a lot of them you won't be able to sell, guys. So keep that in mind. So try to sell something that can sell. So that's why we always say Retro Allergy Custom or use the Mini that you see me using. Oh God, I'm running around like I don't know where I'm going. Here we go. And if we go outside, down to garage number two, you'll see that's where all my duped cards are. And just like that, we have a whole bunch of dupe, guys. Thanks a lot. Leave a comment if you like this. Leave a comment. Tell me what day it still works so people know it's a working glitch. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later. Peace.